look at this mess of identical icons behind me. This is all of my 3D printer files that I've generated or worked with in like the last 30 days, maybe like the last 60 days. And I've got many folders like this on my computer. So the best thing I could do here at the moment is to sort it by time because I can go, oh yeah, I was working on this like three weeks ago or hey, I was working on this yesterday. But wouldn't it be nice if I could see a thumbnail image of the STL files at least. I mean, it would be really cool if we could see a thumbnail image of the G code files as well, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll accept just the STL files. Thankfully, 3D Tech made this video about ooh, two years ago now, where he shows you how to convert your thumbnails into this snapshot of an STL file. And snapshots are nice, and I'm definitely about to follow his lead here and you know do exactly what he did. By the way, link to his video down in the description but I want a little bit more functionality. I wanna be able to rotate around and see what it is. It would be amazing if I could just hover over the thumbnail and rotate the image in the thumbnail, but the next best thing, what if I could just click on an STL, hit the space bar and rotate around like that? How cool is this? Super cool. So built into Windows, you already have a kind of more kludgy version of this. You can right click, open with, and select 3D Viewer, which is a default, uh, app or program that comes with Windows 10. And that's, I think, gonna be the same engine that's activated by the spacebar here uh, with the workflow I'm about to show you. So yeah, but then you have these other things on the sidebar that you just don't need. So yeah, this is just super cool to me, being able to do this. See how fast that loads? This is gonna be really, really useful. So let me show you guys how I accomplished this. And before we do, I wanna give a big thank you to Nikolai. He's a uh, longtime supporter and friend of the channel. If you guys have seen me in live chats, you've probably talked to Nikolai. Here he is building a pretty awesome version of a, um, of a Tevo little monster. So uh, he's got the shirt, <laughs> he's got the printer, and he's got the, uh, the inside scoop. Thanks for the tip, Nikolai, about how to, uh, to get this spacebar trick to work. <laughs> So it's really easy. Basically you go to the Microsoft store and you do a search for Quick Look, which is what you're seeing here. I will put a link to this webpage in the description down below. After you basically click the get button and go through that process, it's so self-explanatory, I'm not even gonna show it on camera. You will need to um, then give the Quick Look plugin or app, Windows app, the ability to uh, look at STL files. And that is with another program here and it's in beta mode. You can download it from GitHub. It's called Helix Viewer by this guy, Jeremy Hart. So I will include a link to this GitHub page as well. And it's super easy to install this. You just click right here on the Quick Look plugin and it will download it. Once it's downloaded, click on the file that was downloaded and press the space bar. Click here to install the plugin. I've already done it, so I'm not gonna click there. And then to get the plugin to work, you have to restart the quick look background process. And to do that, I went control, alt, delete, select task manager, and then scroll down here to the background process all the way down to the bottom where the cues are. There we go, quick look, right click, end task, then hit your Windows button and just type in Quick Look. See, it comes up, click click the, uh, the icon and it will restart. That's all there is to it. You know what guys, it looks like things have changed a little bit since DIY 3D Tech made his video two years ago. So I'm gonna include this link in the description down below to the Marlin page. All you have to do is click the install STL thumbnail.msi link right here. That will download this. Double click it, accept everything, give your soul to Windows. We can donate via PayPal to the guy for making this great plugin. After pressing the button to restart Windows File Explorer, this pretty great view is now my thumbnail view of the STL files. So this is very helpful. And of course, like I said, I can just click it, press the space bar and rotate around it. And that's just a cube. How about this one? Look at how fast that loads. Yeah, this is really, really helpful, you guys. So hopefully I've given you all a nice tip and thank you very much to Nikolai for suggesting this video and this workflow. That'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time. A big thank you to these Patreon supporters. You guys keep the channel going. Thank you so much.